Welcome to this radio channel and today I'm going to show you for all of those that have a software defined receiver that has up converter where to put the offset in um, HDSDR and also SDR sharp so I'll show you both software in the same video it's pretty quick and pretty easy to do so when you have a SDR a software defined receiver that has an up converter for HF first thing you need to know is what is the up converter frequency the one I'm gonna show you here is with the soft 66 RTL the up converter frequency is 50 megahertz if you have any other for example I think the DX patrol is 40 megahertz uh, I've seen some that have different um, up converter frequencies the important thing is you need to know what's the up converter frequency that's the basic information you need to know. So on the soft 66 in my case, which is 50, if we go into SDR sharp, start the software. So by clicking on the EXE here, to set it up so that it works with the up converter to listen to short wave, what you need to do is here on, first of all, you, I hope, set it up like I've shown you with the driver and everything. You have to make sure that the source for the RTL is the correct one. The RTL is the R and USB. When that is done in the radio section on the left side, there's shift. You'll put a check mark here in shift. And you have to put negative 50 million. There it goes. Negative 50 million. So this is the shift to listen to the shortwave band. And basically when you want to listen to VHF, what you do is you just remove the check mark for the shift. You see it becomes grayed out. It means it's not working. When you want to go back to shortwave or HF, you just put back the little shift. And now if I click the play button at the top left, here it goes. I've got reception of 15610 here um, on my receiver now. It's a little off frequency here. That's uh, because you can actually um, set up also a offset. And to get an offset correctly, so for example here, I um, wonder if the offset's it's a little off. I'm just going to check it out here. Zoom in on this station. Yeah, I'm a little off. You see here the peak of 15, 6, 10 should be over. Um, let's just go back here. Yeah, it tells me I'm about two kilohertz off. So you need that peak and that line to be uh, pretty much close together. You can go to the settings on the upper left, and here you have frequency correction and part per million. Just make the correct frequency correction so that the peak of a known station on the right frequency matches the red line here in the display, so that you're calibrated. Um, now I'm using this station which is not necessarily a good idea the best way to do it is if you can receive uh, WWV for example which is a very well-known correct frequency so you try to receive WWV in one of the frequencies uh, if possible and then you calibrate with that you can also try with uh, CHU Canada which is also a known source of correct frequency and you can actually make the display zoom a little more so that the station actually matches the red line so it's easy to uh, to process there it goes you see that the little peak of WW of uh, CHU Canada here uh, not very strong but it matches the line of the so that's pretty much where you will set this and of course We'll have more talk about um, how to set up correctly this uh, SDR Sharp. As for HDSDR, now let's close this. HDSDR, when you want to set the offset for HDSDR, simply go to the HDSDR software, start it up. This one, the offset is a little hard to find it's in the left side panel here on the bottom left you got options 
you've got something called RF front end and calibration. What you need to do is put the little dot in front of SDR hardware or down up converter on down up converter. And here no negative. Here is just 50 million or 50 megahertz in my case, so it's 50 million. Your offset is 40 megahertz, we'll put 40 million. 100 megahertz, 100 million, because this is in hertz. Once you put the little dot there with the up down converter, put the frequency of the offset in that little thing, you click apply and make sure that it works. And if you want to switch between VHF and UHF and HF for shortwave, all you have to do is either put the dot at the top for SDR hardware connected to antenna default. This will give you the direct RTL frequencies of VHF, UHF. And when you want to use the up converter, you simply go put the dot down to the up converter, down up converter, um, and put the frequency here. Click the apply button, of course, and then you're ready to go. All you have to do is click start. And here we have the working. This uh, one too has calibration. So when you uh, actually use this, what you could do is also zoom in into the spectrum and check the frequency. You see here it's off. The station on the display is actually off here where my red line is here on the left for A15, A25. So for the correction, you can click the EXTIO button right here on the right side of the frequency. And you've got the PPM, the frequency part per million. Just switch it and you'll see that on the display here, you see that it's moving. You gotta match my little red line or the frequency of the known station so basically what you need, you need to know the exact frequency of a station you're using. And you see now I'm matching it to 15.825, so it's calibrated okay for now. And once again, the best way to do it is not to use a station. You know, I know this one is on a 15.825 and seems pretty good, but you know, the best way to do it, do it with um, a CHU Canada frequency, uh, 78.50.33.30, or do it with a uh, frequency for... Um, WWV for example. So here goes, you see my calibration is right with 7850 for the time signal of CHU. But like I said, you can try it for uh, with WWV for example. Have it working with WWV which is a very well known calibrated frequency. And uh, that's how you'll work. You see here I'm getting WWV on 20 megahertz. So I can check the calibration here and zoom in or out. And of course, we'll have more videos on the SDR setup so that uh, you know how it works if needed. So that's how you set the offset frequencies and how you actually uh, calibrate the display to make sure that the frequency tuned and the frequency here is correct on HD SDR and SDR Sharp. I hope these videos help you in setting up your SDR. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. You'll be informed when new videos are online. And give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And don't forget, we have tons of live shows every week to uh, help you. And uh, have fun with your radio.